In this example, you were asked to factor the polynomials fully. So in part A, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. Notice that this is in the form x squared plus bx plus c. So one way to factor this is to do what we normally have done for simple trinomials. Find two numbers, m and n, that multiply to c, so multiply to 9, and add to b, so they have to add to 6, and then you can factor it that way. But I'm actually going to recognize this as something else. Notice that we do have an x squared, so I'm going to call that a squared, where a is x. And notice that the last constant term is 9, which is also a perfect square. That is just b squared, where b is 3, because 3 squared is 9. Once I write it in this form, I notice that this is actually just a squared plus 2 times x times 3, which is your 6x, so that's 2ab, plus b squared. So instead of factoring this like a simple trinomial, we could recognize this as a perfect square trinomial. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and the factored form would just be a plus b all squared. This is a shortcut for factoring um, trinomials like this. If you're able to recognize that it is a perfect square trinomial, you can just use the shortcut factored form. So in this case, a is x, b is 3, so this is just x plus 3 all squared. You could have factored this using a regular simple trinomial as well. You'll notice that you'll get x plus 3 times x plus 3. And I'll leave it as an exercise for you to do the check. If you multiply x plus 3 times x plus 3, you will end up back at x squared plus 6x plus 9. All right, in part b. Again, I notice that my first term here is a perfect square. That is just x squared, so that's my a squared. And I notice that my constant term is 4 squared, which is 16. So I have a b squared. So I also seem to have a perfect square trinomial. Let's do a confirmation. What is this term in the middle in relation to a and b? Well, there's an x and there's a 4, but it's negative 8, which is double of 4. So this is actually negative 2ab. So whenever I have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, the shortcut for factoring this is going to be a minus b all squared. So again, you could factor this like a simple trinomial, nothing wrong with that. But if you're able to recognize that this is a perfect square trinomial, then you can use the shortcut. This is just going to be a minus b all squared, so that is x minus 4 all squared. And again, I'll leave it as an exercise. Feel free to expand and simplify, and you will end up back at the original trinomial.